Hello digital product sellers. Welcome back to my tutorial training on how to sell your products at JVZoo. Today is part 10. I'm going to show you how to set up your sales funnel at JVZoo. Okay, let's head over to the JVZoo here to access the sales funnel creation. Click here, sellers menu, go to sales funnel and then add a new sales funnel. You will arrive at this page right here give your sales funnel a name okay just like that and then click on save sales funnel now in this step add your product to the funnel right here from this drop down list of all of your products okay so i selected my front end main product right here is showing that it is still inactive so you need to get it approved okay click on add and now in this step you will see your actual sales funnel visually right here this is the main product and now we're going to add an upsell and a downsell to do that scroll to the bottom here add product to funnel select your upsell or downsell right here okay so i added my demo upsell product click on add and now you see we have a couple of products here but we haven't actually uh, connect them yet so let's add one more before we do the connecting part at the downsell and you can have as many upsells and downsells as you want or all upsells no downsells it's up to you okay click on add all right now it's showing that we have three products and now let's connect them so this is the front end right here so once they buy this they will see the receipt so we don't want that we want them to see the upsell so select the upsell product from this drop down and then click on add okay and now you can see that we made a connection right here front end and then upsell is connected so let's go down here okay and now it says if the customer buys the upsell they will see the receipt so that's fine that's the end of the funnel but if they decline so they say no to the upsell they will see the down sell. So now you have to select the down sell from here and then click add. Okay, so here is the entire sales funnel connection. Let's zoom out a little bit. So we have the front end. If they buy, they see the upsell and there's no upsell after that. There's only one down sell. So if they say no thanks to the upsell. Say right here, no, they will see the down sell product. Okay, so let's start adding in the buy buttons and that will complete the sales funnel. So we have three products total and it's showing five rows of buy buttons right here. We only need three of them. So just get the one from your main product and then your upsell and then your downsell. And uh, these are duplicates. So we have, for example, here two upsells, these uh, two buy buttons right here are exactly the same so okay let's go to click here for the buy button for the main product okay so here's the main product choose your buy button and at the top it says no thanks since this is the main product uh, we don't need this no thanks link but we will need it for the upsells and downsells so here we have a variety of buy buttons you can choose from i usually like this one right here it has the 100 percent satisfaction guarantee so just click on here and then right click, copy the entire code. Now head over to the Composer HTML editor or if you're using WordPress, just copy and paste the code directly into your WordPress editor. Okay, so now in Composer, we have to replace all of the buy buttons if there are any on your current sales page templates. So we have quite a few buy buttons we need to replace. All you have to do is click on the button and then hit backspace or delete and then just enter in some kind of random letters and then click on split. So this is where we can now highlight the letters, right click and then paste in the JVZoo code. And if you get this error right here, Composer can't connect to the JVZoo.com button because of a security protocol just it doesn't really matter just click OK you won't see it down here where we just replace the button but it will show up so let's let me save this real quick let's go to the index main product let's open that up 
So it does show up, but in Composer, there is a security alert, and that's fine, it's still working. So you will need to replace all the buy buttons. So just delete, type in the place marker, and then highlight it. You can see down here, and then just replace, and then you get this alert again. Okay, now we need to do the same thing for the upsells and downsells. Now upsell, let's click on the upsell. Now we do have a no thank you link. So we need to copy this right here. Copy and let's paste it at the top of this page. We only need the actual link. So delete the extra text. So in between the two quotes. So let's delete this quote. And then let's delete the first part here. In between the quotes is the actual link. This is the no thank you link. Let's copy this. Go to Composer and where you put the no thank you line or right here, no thanks, I don't want this special offer. Please take me to the download page or whatever kind of text you want to add, it's up to you. So highlight it, click on link and then delete whatever link location if you already have one. Otherwise it will be blank just like this. The link location for this particular text right here. Right click, paste. And now we have the no thank you link and let's click OK. So now this no thank you link is added to your upsell page, but we need to still add the buy button. So find your buy button and you don't need to use the same one on every single page. You can use a different one if you want, like this one right here. It has the 100% satisfaction. I like that. So let's copy this and we do the same thing all over. Find any buy buttons, delete it. And you can see this is highlighted with the blue underline. So that means there should be a link. Just highlight this down here and just delete everything. Backspace and then type in just something new. And let's click out here and you can see the underline and the link is gone. We can go back here, highlight and paste in the JVZoo, replacing all the letters. And then we get that alert again. So just uh, replace all of the buy buttons, same as before. Delete, type in the place marker, just highlight that, and then paste in the same buy button. Okay, down sale buy button, let's click on that. So we do the same thing for the no thank you. We copy this, paste it at the top, remove uh, the quotes from the link and then copy that go to the down sell scroll to the bottom or wherever you have the no thank you you can have multiple no thank you links let's say if you want to add a no thank you link at the bottom and then one at the top you can do that too i usually just do it at the bottom so that way uh, the customer will have to scroll all the way down look at the entire sales page before clicking on the no thank you. That way it gives them a chance to look at everything first. It may increase your conversion rates. Okay, now let's go back. Find your button. Let's copy that. Same thing. Delete. Type something in and then make sure you click on the split. So you can see there's a link right here. Delete everything. So just like that and then just enter in your jvzoo okay and just paste it in and save okay let's load up the pages into the browser so we have the main page you can see right there but now we have the upsell And there's the buy button. Now one more, the down sell. There it is. Okay, so everything's working. And that's the entire sales funnel for this particular demo product. Again, you can have as many upsells, down sales as you want, and it's the same exact process. And that's pretty much it to setting up your sales funnel. I hope that wasn't too complicated. So anyways, I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments. Uh, please leave it down in the comments below. Thanks again. And uh, be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster. Thanks so much for viewing. And until next time, happy marketing.